Just behind me here is exactly the same spot where the former army commander Maparangwe Mahao was killed by his junior officers. A move that sparked the mediation of Sadak to come and intervene in the issues, political issues of Lesotho. When they got here, some men alighted carrying AK-47 rifles. They shot at him. Since his boys who were with him had attempted to run away, he collapsed leaning towards the passenger door. This is the spot he collapsed at. They then dragged him with his feet, his face dragging onto the floor all the way around the mini truck he was driving. It was around half past seven when then the Minister of Defense made a notice on television informing us that he was shot and killed. The sudden death of Lieutenant For friends, family members and many others who became victims of the state security brutality, every year they come together in memory of the deceased and keep pressurizing the government that justice be done for their loved ones. We are already hearing rumors that um, some of the people who were in government then are facing some legal action but they refuse to see their day in court. They claim they are above, below, uh, above the law, and that is not true. They claim that they have been exempted by SADC, and that is a pure lie. It is not even there because the clause 10 that was agreed to, we challenged it in the courts of law, and the courts declared it null and void and, and against the constitution of the land. I am the younger brother of the late sub-inspector Mkhesenga Mashoko, a police officer who was killed at the police headquarters by the former army commander, Lieutenant General Tladika Modi, and his operatives. My reason for being here and supporting this family it is because as the families of the, of the victims, we have came together and we have tried by all means uh, from 2014 up to, to date seeking for justice. Uh, we are worried because the suspects are uh, politicians. We have one politician who is uh, a suspect. And we are worried again that the suspects are the high-ranking police. So when uh, this, uh, the case has to continue, we see the problem in courts where we find that uh, all, all the time they are postponing the case. As time flies by and justice slowly takes its course, these family members and dedicated activists say they will keep coming to mark this place with piles of stones until justice is served. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Mujema, Lesotho.